Hey guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. Um, first off, you guys will note that we're in the workshop again, but we're not making something. Um, we're doing something a little bit different. Um, instead of a review, um, we're actually going to go over my knife collection and do kind of like those videos that people are doing. Like, if I could only have three knives, if I could only have um, one knife of everything in my collection. Sorry guys, I'm a little out of breath. <laughs> I just had to run to grab something real quick, <coughs> but I'm back. So, um, yeah, this was requested by a viewer, and I really appreciate it, because um, I can't believe I didn't think about it. So, yeah, um, and go ahead and guys, give me, uh, give me suggestions on what I should do, because um, a lot of times I don't think about these things, so um, I really appreciate it. Um, camera is a little bit different for when you see more of me. Um, that's just because I don't have a tripod. I'm working with my phone here. I'm in my workshop. I actually have my phone right now clamped to a window fan that's propped up against an empty coffee can. Yeah, so that's basically what my tripod is right now. My phone's being held up by three things. So it's a tripod, technically. But yeah. Um, but you guys can't really see what I have here. So I'll just um, pick them up real quick, show you what we have. So for starters, we have a Kershaw shuffle. Um, it's a great little knife if you're looking to get into the hobby. Um, I put a little paracord lanyard on there. It's a nice um, knife that has a pry, pry tip slash um, flathead on there. Deep carry, really deep carry pocket clip. Um, and a bottle opener. That's really nice. Thumb stud. Um, it is a uh, liner lock. And it has a forward finger choil, which really gets you get up nice behind the edge. Hollow grind, it's a really nice knife. For only like 20 bucks. Um, downside, uh, 3 CR13 MOV steel. They may have upgraded it, but I bought this three, four years ago now. And yeah, that's what it had. So little want want, but it's still a, it still works. Um, right next to that, I have the um, Ganzo. Um, what's this one called? This is the F753M in 440C. Right there, it has a axis type lock on it. A nice action for what it is, again, like 25 bucks. You'll see that on a lot of these. All these are sub $100 knives, or even sub like $80 knives. I haven't, I don't have enough, I haven't had enough uh, opportunity to buy any more expensive knives. I'd like to at some point. Thinking about the Power 3 Lightweight. But yeah, so that's that's later but um yeah so it has not a deep carry but it does carry pretty nice uh clip dual thumb studs with a nice anodized blue on there same with the hardware check out my review on this um right next to that i have my crkt squid in d2 jg10 with the glow in the dark backspacer lane little lanyard i put on here foster bronze washers blade hq exclusive um, right next to that, I have the Kershaw Hot Wire. Um, it's a $11 something Kershaw from Walmart. Kershaw, a uh, Walmart exclusive. Nice little knife. A Gerber Suspension Multi Tool. I'm probably going to do a review on this at some point. Um, probably one of the best ergonomically to use as a pliers. I like to use the pliers. But yeah, great little multi tool. Got that years ago. Um, Sack Tinker with my little custom clip. See my video on that. If it's not out by the time this drops, it should be right there. But if it's not, it'll be coming in the next day or two. Um, if you guys know this, you know it is the glass covered sea urchin, also known as the SOG reactor. I don't know why that's still in my collection. Um, Spider Co. Dragonfly 2 Salt with the hawk bill and full serration. Nice little knife, love this thing. Um, I, I meant to clean this off, but a uh, Japanese Higonakami friction folder. Nice little knife. This is the blue paper steel, I believe. I don't know the difference. I just know one's wrapped in blue paper, the other one's black. Uh, wrapped, blapped, blapped. That is not a word. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. The other one's wrapped with an R um, in white paper. That's just how they deliver the steels. I don't, I don't know like heat treatment well i don't know that but like chemically i don't know the difference um 
Openel, this is a number six, I believe. Yep, got this a couple years ago. Um, a little buck knife. Um, I don't know what this is called still. Um, but yeah, I got this at a little um, junk store kind of thing. But yeah, um, see, you can see my video on that if you want more details. Same with the Dragonfly and the Opino. Um, then two of my customs that I made for myself. Um, this one is also a little rusty. Okay, a lot rusty. Um, this is my, oh, what do I call this? This is my uh, Faithful Companion, is what I call it. It's a little fixed blade I made uh, a couple years back. And then you guys should know this, my uh, Sleek as well. Both of the Zara knives. Um, just a little side thing I like to do. Um, I make knives, that's why I'm in the shop. But yeah, alright, so um, let's break this down a little bit. Um, I told you we're going to kind of narrow down what knives I'd get rid of first. And this is going to be pretty hard because they're all, they're all cheap-ish knives, like budget knives, but I still love them. So, um, alright. Um, I'm going to start with an obvious... Um, oh, I was going to say obvious, but I don't know. Um... Alright, um, probably the first one I'd get rid of is the Higo Nakami, um, just because it doesn't see a whole lot of pocket time. Um, it's a little bit of a pain to carry. Um, for one, it has a, that little tab, it kind of jabs into you, depending on where you carry it. Um, and it just, it's really thick to use. I mean, as a, like, a history piece, it's really nice, because these are handmade in Japan. By, I'm pretty sure the last maker that's like certified to make them so yeah they're pretty cool but this would probably be the first one to go so this one is out of here just stick it in one of these um, slits right here all right so that one's gone all right um next I'll probably go Kershaw shuffle some of these are relatively easy to get rid of I'd get rid of this just cuz um 3CR 13 um, steel while you can use it, it's just, it's not preferred. Um, I mean, it cuts, it holds, it can, you can put an edge on it. I was about to say it holds an edge, but that'd be a lie. Um, this thing holds an edge like butter holds its shape on a hot summer day. Um, it just deforms. But, I mean, for your first knife, I would definitely recommend this. But, yeah, I'm, I'm going to get rid of that just because of the other options I have. So, eat throw this one in here all right all right next um oh this is getting tough I only got rid of two knives but when you have like 12 knives so that still limits you quite a bit um honestly I'm probably gonna one of my viewers is gonna get mad at me here cuz uh this is her, she's one of my friends, and this is her favorite knife that I own, but I'd probably get rid of this one. This is, well, one of my favorites she is. She basically claims every one of my knives if I were to die. But, yeah, um, this just a little buck. For, I mean, it's a great backup. I keep this thing in my wallet, if you guys have seen my other videos or the review. Um, it just doesn't see a lot of use. I mean, it's, I keep it as a backup, but realistically, I carry three to four knives on me anywhere I go. So, it's, it's not, I don't need it, so I'd get rid of that one. Sorry to my viewer, you know who you are. Alrighty, okay. Um, um, now, if we're just basing this off of use, I'll probably get rid of this. Spider Code Dragonfly 2. Now, it's not because I don't love it. I absolutely love this knife, but it's because I don't use it that often. I use it, realistically, um, one to two weeks out of the year, like, consistently, like, day to day, and that's when I'm in Florida, because this is my fishing knife. I might use it more the more I go fishing. Hopefully, this summer, I'll be doing a lot more fishing. But, um, yeah, the more I go fishing the more I'll probably use this, but the reason I'm getting rid of it is just because it doesn't get a lot of pocket time. Um, for one, it's it's full serrations, uh, I don't cut a lot of rope, and also it's just a little bit on the intimidating side, and I live in um, New Jersey, which is very, they're very vague on their knife laws, so 
realistically, I could pr I might be able to carry like a cold steel, one of their bigger ones, and if I get the right cop, he'd say, uh, yeah, just don't pull it out in front of a lot of people, but I could also get a cop that if they find me with this, they'll be like, um, I need to take that and you're in big trouble or I just need to take it. So yeah, um, if this was a normal one, VG10 and drop point, uh, it, it, it might just be my favorite one, but since it's that, since it's not, I'm going to have to get rid of it. But again, it's nothing against the knife, it's just it doesn't get a whole lot of pocket time. Alright, now we're, now we're coming down here. Um, I should get rid of a multi-tool. Um, glass covered sea urchin. Um, it's going to go just because ergonomics, horrible. Um, it actually stayed this long because of the uh, wire cutters it has on it. Those things are so flippin' sharp, man. They cut through paper like they're scissors. It's crazy how sharp these things are. But that's really the only reason um, why I'm getting rid of it. Well, why I'd, why it's been on the table this long. But um, a stupid thing about it is the, uh, the assist broke. Like, the spring only engages, like, here. And then after that, this is all just, like, free. It's stupid. It's the whole... The whole thing is a train wreck, really, but I keep it around just because um, it's, it's a smaller pair of pliers that I can keep with me. So this is gone. I'm sure a lot of you saw that coming. All right. Um, I'm going to get rid of the Firebird um, just because I, I don't really use it as much as I just fidget with it, um, which, I mean, I get some people consider that use, but I... I mostly use my knives as tools. I mean, I do like to play with them a lot. But in this case, I'm going to have to get rid of it. Um, just because, for one, it's 440C, so it's not a great steal. Um, it, it certainly is not a bad one either. But, um, yeah, I just... It gets pocket time, but I don't use it. So I'm, I'm really just finding small excuses to get rid of stuff here. But, yeah. Um... Uh, Gerber suspension. Um, I forget if I called this the paraframe when I introduced it, but it's the suspension. If I called it the paraframe, I meant suspension. If I called it the suspension, I'm just going crazy. So, um, I'm going to get rid of this. Um, just because, again, I don't use it a whole lot. Um, it has to be in a belt sheath if I'm going to carry it, because there's no way I'm sticking this whole thing, this chunk of steel in my pocket because this thing is heavy it's got to be like eight to ten ounces uh, and the the tools aren't really great uh, I mean the knife is trash really um, flathead's useful Phillips head is eh just because it's only one with 2d Phillips head saw can be useful but I don't saw a lot of things normally scissors have never worked since I bought it um, just the spring never worked and they're kind of small for how much room they take up um, the serrated knife is pretty good, but I don't really need a serrated knife a lot. I've really ever, um, mentioned the scissors already. Um, the, the can opener, opener, I don't use a whole lot, but when I do, it's actually really nice. Um, and this little flat head I don't really use, and I already have, I still have my tinker on the table, so that, that has all the tools I need, really. And it has a 3D Phillips, so yeah, I'm going to get rid of that. And also, it, like I said, it's too big. I can't, I don't realistically carry this a whole lot. It stays in my car, really. But yeah, all right, so now we're getting down to the wire here. We got one, two, three, four, five, six knives left. So get rid of one, we're at my top five. Um, <coughs> right here. <coughs> oh, excuse me, guys. Here, um... This one has sentimental value just because a friend gave it to me. But as a knife, I'd get rid of it just because this one also is 3CR 13 MOV. So, like I said, it's not, not a great steal by any stretch of the imagination. Um, and it really just came this far just because it was given to me by a friend. But um, as a knife, I'm going to have to get rid of it. But, yeah. And I don't think she watches my videos, so we're good. Um, all right. So this is my top five right now. So the sleek, um, faithful companion. 
open on number six, um, squid, and tinker. All right, now it's going to get hard, people. <coughs> um, I have some in my mind that I know I want to. I want them to be my top, but I I can't re I can't just get rid of all the other ones. Just say that. Um, hmm. Here I'm, I'm going to get rid of the faithful companion, just because it's it's small but bulky. I mean, like that that's kind of thick back there. And I don't use it a whole lot, certainly not as much as my sleek or my, um, or the squid or anything. But yeah, it's not because this is a bad knife. Um, I just, as a maker, like as the maker of it, I see all the defects in it. And, uh, I mean, it's a joy to carry on the belt, but the, it's a little wide this way, sheath-wise. So again, here, I'm just kind of making up, I'm making these, um, uh, mole hills in the mountains here on every little detail, but yeah, that's why I'm getting rid of that. So top four, um, that's what we got, Tinker, Squid, Sleek, and Openel. Um, and here, Openel is going to go. Um, I didn't think a whole lot about this, but it's mostly because I just don't use it for one. Um, when I use knives at work, I like, to, uh, I like being quick with it just because some of my coworkers are a little leery of knives um i work in a uh customer service base kind of thing i work in the food industry but i work at like the counter so i'm dealing with people all the time and i don't i don't want my boss to say hey i don't want you carrying knives anymore because you're scaring too many people and i don't want to scare people i mean realistically i believe i should be able to carry anything i want anywhere anytime um that's what i believe the second amendment was for but um, that's a whole nother discussion, but yeah, I just don't do it just because it, it takes too long to, for one, fish out of my pocket, and it's because it doesn't have a pocket clip. I mean, I guess I could, I could drill a hole through there, put a keychain on it, then put one of my little keychain pocket clips on it. It's actually not a bad idea. I might try that. But yeah, um, um, what was I just saying? Sorry guys, I just got a text just show, showed up on my phone. It totally threw me off of what I was saying. But yeah, that's why I'd get rid of this one because it's too slow to pull out as a, as like a classy folder. I think this thing is classy as heck because I mean, it's wood handle, so nobody's really scared of it. Um, it's got a nice clip point shape. It's just a nice kind of, yeah, this this looks like what my grandfather would carry or something like that, or my dad. It's, it's kind of like the same thing the Buck 110 has. Just that classic nostalgia kind of like, sorry the, the light is kind of so blown up here. It's, there's a window right here. Let me see if I can adjust this a little bit. Bear with you guys for a second. I probably should have done that at the beginning of the video, but... Just use this. There we go. Just cut those pesky strings. Okay. Never mind. That's messing with the camera. All right. I uh, will just have to live with it. So you got top three right here. This is and this is also pretty much what I carry every day. Is my sleek, uh, my squid, and my tinker. Probably these two are probably no surprise to any of y'all who watch this and people who know me. These three aren't a surprise really at all. Because it's just what I carry. Okay, so that's my top three. Um, if I'm going top two. Um, and this is just, this is for like, if I could only have, if I could only have three knives for my entire life, I could realistically survive with all three of these. The squid, sleek, and the uh, tinker. But, um... I, I, I mean, I, I always love knives. It's not like I'm going to stop buying knives at some point just because I, I enjoy knives. Um, but for top two, uh, this is really a toss-up because I love all three of these knives. Um, I'm thinking about getting rid of the squid because I love the sleek that much. The only thing is... Um, 
I just don't know because this is very concealable. Like this just sits in my pocket. It's a nice non-threatening shape and all that. Um, the sleek, it's, it's still a non-threatening shape really. I mean, if somebody really hates knives, they're going to find everything threatening. So, but the only thing is the squid fits better in the pocket. Like, I mean, I can put this in my pocket. I've done it before. If I'm just home, I'll slip this in my pocket. Like when I wear carpenter pants, so like one of those side pockets down like halfway, like right above the knee, they have these side pockets. Um, I'll slide it right in there. Um, and I can neck knife it like under a shirt, but, ah, oh, this is really difficult. Um, mm. Uh, I mean, this, this, there's not a huge difference in steel, because this is D2, and this is 1095. I mean, there is a difference, but I heat treated this so the steel is a lot harder. Um, so, like, I did a very light temper on it, just because I'm not prying a lot of stuff with it. So, it, it holds a really nice edge. But, ah, uh, guys, I cannot decide. Um, and I don't really, I don't want to get rid of the tinker right away. Just because, well, should I? Yeah, all right. So number three, Tinker, I'm just gonna get rid of it. I mean, I, I really enjoy the multi-tool aspect and I use it a lot, but when it comes down to just general knife uses and purposes, I use these two way more. So top two right here, Sleek and Squid. Um, I'm, I need to hold these. <laughs> See which one I like better. Ergonomics. Ergonomically, the sleek is better. I'm not just saying it because it's my knife. Um, well, partly I am for the reason that I designed it. So this isn't a ripoff. I mean, if anybody made a knife like this, it's purely because there's nothing new under the sun and everything looks the same at some point in some way. But ergonomically, the sleek is a whole lot more comfortable to bear down, especially in, what is this, saber grip, I think? Yeah, especially in this grip, um, just because the squid has those those two choils, one there and one there, and that ridge in the middle, and that for that kind of grip, um, you can just feel a difference. Like this one really just hugs your finger. Um, but also this one has a slightly longer handle. The squid has a longer handle, especially actually it honestly doesn't. It's just because of that lanyard I put on there. That's actually the only reason that handle, that feels longer. Hmm. Guys, I don't know. Blade length is pretty much the same, just from base. The squid has a little bit more edge, but the sleek has definitely a better tip for penetrating. Um, hmm. I do not know, guys. This is crazy. Um... Um, now when it comes to which I hold more, it's the squid, just because I, I like to fidget with it, because I have a sweet action on this where it just, I hit that lock bar and it just shuts, it's, it just drop shuts, it's great, but, uh, mm, I do, guys, I don't know if I'm making this way more difficult than it actually is, I can't tell if I'm just being dramatic about this or not. But um, let me know in the comments which of these knives you guys would pick. Um, like, of any of them. It doesn't have to be my top two. But then, of these top two, which would you pick? Because um, I'm really interested. Because for me, this is really hard. Because I've used these knives a lot. I've had the sleek longer. And I use it a lot. But again, it's the same thing of this one's more concealable than this. But this one's stronger because it's a fixed blade. It also has a better grind on it. Alright guys, I'm just going to do it. I'm going to do it. And this is... Um, okay, Maker has nothing to do with this. This has nothing to do with... My knives are better than CRKT knives. CRKT knives are better than mine. Um, I'm just going to say... I would be fine if my only knife for the rest of my life was the sleek. 
and I honestly don't have too much of a reason for it. Um, mo it's mainly because, for one, I made it, so it has, it's a part of me, basically, like, it, it just has, like, I, I'd like to say you can look at this knife and see me in it, I don't know if you can, um, but, I just feel like this is a, is a good option for, like, if I could only have one knife, just because I, for what I carry almost every day, there's a million different ways I can carry this, just on my belt alone, let alone neck knife, I can sling it, I can have it really anywhere on my body, um, just by strapping it, but yeah, I'm gonna have to go with that, and it's certainly not at all, because the, it's so much better than the squid, as you guys saw, for probably like, five minutes maybe, I could be wrong, I'm just looking at the time thing on here, but maybe three to five minutes, I was just going back and forth over these knives. So it is certainly not at all because one knife is better than the other. I consider these almost equal when it comes to EDC use. But when it comes to one for the rest of my life, I'd have to go with this. Just because it can do so much more. It's a fixed blade. So I can put it through more um, abuse than a folder would. And this won't fail on me. So yeah. So this makes my top, my number one knife for the rest of my life. This is what it would be. My top three would be the squid the sleek and the tinker and personally i'd i'd love it so much and i'm i'm really happy that i can have all three of these i'm happy i can have this whole collection but like just going through this really shows how much you appreciate being able to have all these different knives because you can't like i really want to hang on to this because i like having a multi-tool i like being prepared i like having a screwdriver scissors and all that on it on me but when it came down to it i'd rather have a strong sturdy knife even a lock a strong knife over this um just for the reason of i i abuse my knives a bit not not a whole i don't abuse them i use them a lot so yeah, that, that's the only reason why I got rid of this at number three. But I am so glad I'm a, I am able to keep all these. Like I, I wouldn't regret if I ever had to sell any of these or got rid of them. I mean, not all of them, obviously. I'd, it'd be a joy for me to get rid of this. But I just can't do that to somebody else. So I will bear this burden on myself. But yeah, so I appreciate you guys. This is actually going to go back in my pocket. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys sticking with me through this video. This is kind of a long one. It's actually, wow, almost a half hour. Dang. But yeah, I appreciate it. Um, thank you guys for watching. Um, be sure to like this video. Comment down below. Comment something random. Um, comment which maybe you would have, how you would have picked differently or if you agree with my decision on these knives. Um, uh, subscribe if you didn't already. So I guess it took me a minute to think about what I didn't say yet. Um, subscribe. Um, if you just found this randomly, um, thank you guys, thank you for watching, for one, just watching some random guy, even though to most of my subscribers, I am just some random guy, but I appreciate you stopping by, um, and if you want, you can, if you want to comment, if you're new here, comment down below how you found my channel, because I'm really interested, because I am just a small fish in a large ocean of many really big fish in the knife reviewing world. Um, cause like, if you know of me, and you don't know of Nick Shabazz, Slicey Dicey, um, Geared Towards Gear, um, Frankie and Bird, Birdshot IV, if you don't know about them and you know about me, you must know me personally, because I don't think there's any way you, you can type in Knife Reviewer, and I come up before they do. But, um, yeah, so anyway, that was a little rant I just had, but. Um, yeah, you, I really appreciate, I know I've said it multiple times in this video, I really appreciate you guys stopping by. And I hope you guys have a great day. Um, be safe in all this coronavirus craziness. Um, and yeah, um, enjoy being inside with your family. Um, enjoy your knives inside. Take care of them. Take them apart, clean them, oil them, do all that. Um, but yeah, um, I'll see you guys next week. And have a great day.